What's cracking, YouTube? Welcome back to Pat Kraken with Pax McCracken. I'm Pax McCracken, and today we're going to be opening up an Ikoria draft booster box. Um, so you know, may notice that the lighting is a little different here. It's just because I'm in a different part of the house. I've got the windows open. It's an absolute beautiful day up here in Washington State. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into this. I am uh, still in the recovery period for, uh, or I should say the contagious period for COVID. However, I'm feeling much better than when I shot the, uh, the uh, Double Master Booster box the other day. So uh, hopefully we'll get some beefy pulls on this. Um, and yeah, I'll finally familiarize myself with some of the cards because uh, I've been opening up a couple of the, uh, oh, I got a... Get a box topper here. Very cool. Absolutely love those. Let's set this off to the side. Um, let's see if we can get, get down in there. Get all these wonderful packs out. Um, I really like I really like the red. Some sort of crazy looking like little mongoose thing on there. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of curious to see how the, the lighting is going to do with this. Um, just because uh, it's... At least where I'm at, we're start. It's starting to not like get sunset, but it's getting that time of day where the sun's coming through here. I actually think it looks kind of cool. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll just we'll see how it goes. So let's go ahead and we'll jump right in here to our first pack. So what we're looking for are the uh, the triomes, um, Lurus of the Dream Den's another great one. There's you know Shark Typhoon. I want to call it Shark Tarna Tornado Tornado. Um, we're gonna go a little slow through uh, the first few right here. You know, I'm not sure if I want to do it like so or what. And then we got a showcase migratory great horn. That one I'm slightly familiar with just because I pulled them a couple times. Majestic Archorn, Call of the Death Dweller. Good card right there. Extinction event for our first rare, another good one. And then we got Rugged Highlands and our token. So I'll tell you what, we're gonna go ahead and tokens off to the side. I'm just gonna move these guys just just like so. So if you're uh, new to the channel, please go ahead and uh, subscribe. Like the video, um, we're uh, getting pretty close to Strixhaven, and uh, I want to do a giveaway. I really want to do a giveaway, but in order to do that, we need 100, subscri 100 subscribers. So go ahead, tell your friends, tell your loved ones, tell random people you see on the street. I don't care. Get them to the channel. That's what we need. We need subscribers now. Wingspan Mentor. Oh, nice. And we have a uh, um, Savai Triome. That's the uh, um, borderless version. Absolutely beautiful. I'm actually going to go ahead and sleeve that up here in just a second. We've got the Thornwood Falls and our soldier token. Alright, so we'll go ahead and put the sleeve cards over here for the time being. Actually, you know what? Here we can put it right over there in front of the rares. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm feeling much better than I was uh, the other day when I uh, shot the Double Masters videos. Not only because that box was uh, not quite as good as other boxes I've seen. Um, it was honestly a little disheartening. Um, I bought that one from uh, Cardhouse.com, which is a... Uh, uh, a vendor I've purchased stuff multiple times before in the past. Um, however, that one was just maybe that was just a dud. Lava Brink Venture. All right, I've, I was like, I know that guy. I pulled him a couple times. Then we have a checkpoint officer. Oh man, hey, it's me. I'm a checkpoint officer. And then Swiftwater Cliffs. Just kidding. I I got more hair than that guy. That's actually not a bad card. Tap target creature. I guarantee you, like, uh, like I said, I wasn't playing Magic when this came out. Um, but uh, he seems like he'd be really good and limited. Alright, we're going to go ahead and just kind of go through these a little, a little faster. Do my little slide shuffle that way. Maybe. Maybe not. Reconnaissance Mission. Cunning Nightbounder. Ominous Seas. 
And then Kahira the Orphan Gar. That's a really cool looking creature. We got our land. This is such a, honestly, I think it's such a cool set. There's there's so many good cards in here. So really the whole, uh, this whole block, Theros, Beyond Death, Throne of Veldrain. Um, I think it's just because of uh, um, the pandemic is one of the reasons why uh, maybe it, it wasn't as popular as a time just because physical magic um, didn't, didn't really exist. Easy prey. Chittering Harvester. And then we got Vadrox, Apex of Thunder. Pretty awesome looking card there. I'm not sure if it's a, one of the more expensive ones, but tell you what, we'll go ahead and we'll put the foils over there. We'll put Mythics over here. And then we got a Labyrinth Raptor. Oh, you know what? I just noticed that that's a rare. <laughs> Very cool. So we got a, a rare and a Mythic in the same pack. That's pretty cool. These are... These little tokens, like, I just think these are just super cool. Menes First Strike, Lifelink, Hexproof. Like, those are those are super neat. Alright. So you got Wilt, Titan Reflexes, Aegis Turtle. Unexpected Fangs, Light of Hope, Shred Sail, Sanctuary Lockdown, Splendor Mare, and then, oh, you know I missed one. Inspired Ultimatum, target player gains 5 life, Inspired Ultimatum deals 5 damage to any target, then you draw 5 cards. Not a bad Ultimatum, if I do say so myself. So I'm really curious about what's in that uh, Coria box top. I know it's going to be one of the Godzilla themed cards. Um, I'm not sure if it's, that one's one of the, if it's guaranteed to be foiled, if it's guaranteed to be not foil. I didn't do a whole lot of research on it, so I'm just going to be pleasantly surprised just because they're, they're, they're awesome. I know there's uh, the three that you can't get except for the Japanese language versions. One of them that we did pull in one of our shorts, which was the... Uh, Mecha Godzilla or the crystalline giant one, Porky Parrot, and then Everquill Phoenix full art. That looks awesome. And man, that mutate mechanic is uh, it can be kind of a pain in the butt to deal with, uh, depending on the card. Forest Human Soldier. So either the next box we open up or. It'll either be Theros Beyond Death, because I've got one of those up. Oh, here the uh my neighbor's uh Pitbull. They just got home, so he's super excited. He's actually uh for the most part pretty friendly. Not super and this card right here is uh <laughs> his name's Thanos. No Thanos, can't come in here, buddy. He always wants to say hi. Emergent Ultimatum. Awesome card. This is actually uh, one of the keys to the Sultai deck. Actually, one of the ones I'm running, so I'm glad I hit that. I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to take uh, the standard uh, version I'm currently running. It's a little different than the deck tech that I, uh, I shared with you guys not too long ago. Um, and kind of make a commander deck based off that. Just because, I don't know. I, I know with the commander, that uh um they've got like all their own cards like you know from commander legends and everything and they're specifically building around that but when i when i first started playing edh um it was kind of a, just a different way to like you know maybe expand on some cards that you had in standard or extended oh there we go luris of the dream den that's a that's a hit right there we're gonna go ahead and sleeve luris up tranquil cove and human soldier am i there you go, buddy. Such a good card. If you're uh, unfamiliar with what he does, pretty much uh, you can keep playing uh, permanent spells with converted mana cost two or less from your graveyard. So they just keep coming back. 
He's uh, kind of one of the uh, companion cards for uh, the Demir um, Mill deck that if you play Arena, I'm sure you've played against once or twice. He's uh, one you absolutely have to take care of when he drops, or even before he drops, just to uh, make sure that he's not a uh, persistent threat on there. Oh, oh, here you go. You know what? The commons go here, packs. And then, oh, we got another, uh, another full art triome. That's really awesome. And then we have a mountain behind it and a human soldier. So we're going to go ahead and sleeve that one up too. Feeling pretty good on the right hand side. And then we're always happy to see the triomes. And I did pull the uh, Ketria triome, the blue, black, green one in the. Uh, Last uh, Japanese uh, Aquaria Collector Booster that I opened. So, if you, like I said, if you haven't checked that out yet, go ahead and do so. Oh, that one didn't really want to rip. There it goes. Yes. I, I, <laughs> I don't know what I did. Well, my thought process was trying to open that one, but man, that pack was snug pulling those out. Spontaneous flight. I hope everybody is having a good week so far. This is going up on Thursday. Oh man, the art for uh, this Evolving Wilds just looks just awesome. I bet it looked just beautiful in foil. Will of the All Hunter. General's Enforcer. And another Triome. Didn't we just, yeah. Uh, Rogren Triome. We're going to go ahead and sleeve that up too. And then we have a Cavern Whisperer. Looks really cool. Dismal Blackwater. You know, I am absolutely okay hitting all these Triomes. And here's the last pack on the right hand side. Oh, look, this one's. Already open. Let's see if we can't maybe speed it up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Alright. Just because I did my stacks a little differently, it's going to be a little weird. I feel like I'm just kind of reaching, reaching around. There we go. There's another good hit. The Ozolith. Swamp and a dinosaur token. This is the hold my tokens card. All right. I was uh, one of the things I was curious about because I, I didn't. I, I, I'm not sure if you only get the Godzilla cards from the toppers and the um, and the. Uh, collector boosters or if you get them just in the draft pack or I mean if there's a chance to get them in the draft packs too um, so that's gonna be kind of fu fun to find out if one just happens to pop up in here um, I guess we'll find out you know if I happen to pull one there we go we got another ultimatum we got eerie ultimatum that's three of the five ultimatums mountain and human soldier token Keep wanting to do it like the slow, <laughs> slow roll away. I don't know why that was like kind of a tongue twister for me to say. Necropanther, heartless act, great uncommon, and Yorion, the Sky Nomad, another absolutely great card. We'll sleeve him up too. And that's that's kind of like one of the cool things with this set, is uh, a lot of the better cards in this are actually rares and not mythics. I mean, the some of the cooler Godzilla cards are mythics. Um, but yeah, I mean, as far as uh, as far as what we've hit so far, I mean, like we've hit absolutely some of the better cards in the set. Uh, hold up there. Sleeper dart. 
memory leak. Okay, yeah, I was like, I, like that seems so familiar. And then Reptilian Reflection, Proud Wild Bonder, Sanctuary Smasher, Umori the Collector. I feel like I've seen this one before. I'm just not sure if it was like an like a like a, a money card or not. So let's go ahead and put it down there. We got Huntman Hunt Huntmaster Liger, Foil Showcase, Swamp, and then Human Soldier. I am uh, yeah extremely happy with what we uh, here. I'm gonna pull this up real quick on the computer. See kind of value wise. And one of the things I mean like I just just for reference purposes like I actually. I know a uh, TCG player is kind of the uh, the uh, go to as far as uh, what the value's worth, but I actually uh, just because it's easier to sort, I kind of use Card Kingdom's uh, list. I know their their price is a little inflated, but as far as their uh, order of what cards are worth more, they're usually pretty much on par with what you can find on uh, TCG player. So as long as and that's just for finding like you know which ones are actually worth, you know, money and whatnot. Skull Prophet, Zagoth Crystal, back for more. And we got Yadaro, Wandering Monster. Is he turtly enough for the Turtle Club? You decide. So we've only gotten one Mythic so far? It's kind of interesting. I wonder where they're all hiding. Did we get one mythic? I'll check after this. That's kind of kind of crazy if we're ha we're halfway through the box and uh, have only hit one. But like I said, the a lot of monies are in the, the triomes. Search. And then we got Sky Cat Sovereign here. Planes and a dinosaur token. And yeah, I saw that. I uh, set some of the uncommons here, right there. So, all right, let's do a mythic check here. Yeah, we've only hit one mythic so far. That's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. You know what, if I, if, I'll, I'll take Triomes over Mythics, in this box specifically, any, any day. Alright. Another Evolving Wilds, Essence Scatter. Alright. Mystical Subduel. Escape Protocol. Jagatha the Wellspring. Plane. That's a beautiful planes. I bet that would look just absolutely crazy in uh, foil. I've not hit a uh, Shark Typhoon yet. Oh, and that. Uh, if I said Ketria Triome earlier, it was Zagoth. I only know that now because I'm looking right at it on the computer. Fire Prophecy, good card. Did I do it again? I did, didn't I? Maybe I should just stack them all together. What do you think? Just... Extinction Event, that's our second one of those. Double hit on the Extinction Event. It's just because I have my piles right here on the, uh, the left hand side, so that's why I'm like, I feel like I'm doing this kind of weird. Part of me was, huh. oh, I was like, it feels weird on the back. What is it? It's those uh, little token, the. Uh, um, token icon things. Archipelagor, that's kind of a cool sounding card. Song of Creation. Oh, it's a neat card right there. 
Yeah, that token thing threw me off. I'm like, it felt like there was like maybe like a hair on the back or something, or like just something that shouldn't have been there. I kind of hope they uh, continue doing that with the tokens. I'd love to see them in uh, some other sets too. Maybe different tokens, but I thought that was a really cool idea. I mean, I'm. What do you think about those tokens? Are they neat? Are they annoying? Oh my gosh, I keep doing it. What I'm doing is I'm like, I'm sorting them out and then I'm just stacking them all in the same pile. Gem Razor, that's a good card. Come on. Come on. Gust of wind. Do do do. Adaptive shimmer. It's a cool looking card. Alright. Sanctuary Smasher. Mythos of Nitro. I forgot the Mythos cards were in here. Oh, wow. That's a good hit right there. Foil. Fiend Artisan. You know, we were saying, hey, that we would only hit like uh, one Mythic and it decided to give us, I think, what is that? I think it's the, the most expensive. Come on, you're really gonna. Come on. Alright, I'm pretty sure it's one of the. I think it's the most expensive. Uh, non-showcase mythic you can get. So that's pretty cool. Alright. Mysterious Egg. Another car that probably looked pretty cool in foil. Keep doing it. Somebody stop me from sorting onto the wrong pile. I swear I'm not doing it on purpose. Bastion Remembrance. Unpress unpredictable Cyclone. Not the uh, Shark Cyclone. Or Typhoon. Gust of Wind. Migratory Great Horn. Pangolin. Pangolins are such cool animals, it's kind of unfortunate that they're uh, hunting so much. Crystalline Giant. There's a good card right there. I know what he is now because I had to look him up because I got. Was it two different versions of him? Yeah, no. Well, I got the. I've got him in the, uh, I think it's the Japanese foil extended, then I got the Mecha Godzilla version, so I had to, had to become a little familiar with him. <laughs> Haven't pulled him so many times. Boneyard Lurker. Eerie Ultimatum for another rare. I think that's our second Eerie Ultimatum. Double hit on that. Greater Sandworm. Foil. We're on to our last side here. This has been actually a pretty, pretty awesome box, not gonna lie. Now we're starting to hit the foil. It's kind of crazy that we only hit uh, two mythics so far. Whirlwind of Thought. And we have a foil glowing recluse. Looks pretty sweet. Island and a token. Divine Arrow. I'm having much more fun with this box than Double Masters. Not gonna lie. But you know what? Here's the. Oh, I did it again! 
I may have grabbed a comma, but you know what? I'm not going to go through and sort it. And, oh, a second. All right. Double hit on Lures to the Dream Den. We will take that any day of the week. You know what? I'm not going to let that one uh, box of Double Masters uh, discourage me. I'm actually... We're going we're gonna to review what we got here just because there's so many, so many hits and they're just not wanting to stay put. Um, or maybe we won't. I think I sorted them out enough. You, you, you can see him. You can go back and watch the video. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see how we're doing on time. I'm trying to keep this under 30 minutes, but... Oh, did you... Oh my gosh. It's like, it's not like, I swear I'm not doing this on purpose. I swear to God. I just get, a, I get distracted by the great rares and then I'm just like, uh, ah. not paying attention. Offspring's Revenge, Island, Token. We're getting, we're getting there. This has been an absolutely amazing box. I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, we're kind of getting back to that. Let's talk about Double Masters. You know, I, I don't think I'm gonna give up on it. I think I want to do one more box just to uh, to see if we can't hit just hit some epically beefy pulls. Oh, we got another triome. Almost did the wrong one again. Sevi triome. Go ahead and sleeve that up. Snare tactician for a foil. Oh, no. I'm trying to operate the computer here and for whatever reason it's not wanting to refresh the browser. So I wanted to take a look at some of the uh, the prices on there, but oh, I'll worry about it after the video. Neutralize. Sprite Dragon, that's a good uncommon right there. Titan's Nest, and then Rooting Moloch for a foil. It's still kind of crazy, we only hit two Mythics. But I'm, I'm not terribly upset because everything else has been super solid. Like I said, this is, if this is, the, this is there's a box that you're okay with not hitting the Mythics on, this, uh, this set is it. That wasn't even that good of one, Pax. Come on. <laughs> Voracious Great Shark for our rare. Awesome looking planes. No, it's a, that's a swamp. I was gonna say, that's not planes, that's a mountain. It's like, nope, you're, just, you're wrong all over the place. It's the COVID talking. Let's see if we can't get that elusive shark typhoon or maybe a luminous brood moth here. Fight is one. Clash of Titans. Um, I think that's our second Jengatha of the Wellspring, maybe our first. I feel like we had a double hit on that. Well, I think this video is going to hit over 30 minutes, so if you've stuck with me this long, I really appreciate it. Mm. Something shiny's back there. Easy prey, parcel, uh, I'm not trying to give it away. Labyrinth Raptor, we get pulled a foil one of those earlier, and then uh, just a land, blood flow, blood fell caves, but that looks really awesome. Forest. I'm actually, wa this, is, this is wild that, uh, I don't you know my roommates. Mom is here. Hey, I'm gonna pause it just one second. Sorry for the interruption there. That was uh, actually my roommate's uh, nephew. Today is actually my roommate's birthday. So you know what? Shout out, uh, happy birthday, 
Lalo. His actual name is Gerardo, who just everybody calls him Lalo, and that was his nephew Gabe. Really cool kid. So let's go ahead and we'll jump back into this. I'm sorry if it uh, just the pack jumps around when you come back to it. I'm still kind of terrible as far as when to stop. And then we got there we go. There's another another mythic Snapdax Apex of the Hunt. Proud Wild Bonder for foil, planes, and a token. So we got two packs left. Definitely got to do the piles differently next time. Yeah, you know what? Trash goes over here. Come on. Definitely have to do different piles next time. Oh my gosh. I'm so bad at this. Genesis Ultimatum. Jungle Hollow looks really cool. All right. Our last pack. Can we hit another Triumph? Can we hit the Shark Typhoon? Can we hit the Luminous Brood Moth? Let's find out. Can I stack the cards in the piles they're supposed to be in? Another Heartless Act. And then we got for our final rare, which is also Mythic, Winota Joiner of Forces. Pretty cool. Island. And then our token. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and jump into the box topper here. Trying to get this so we don't don't see what it is. All right, big reveal, <laughs> baby Godzilla Ruin Reborn. That is freaking adorable. Although it's not one of the money ones, it's kind of ridiculously cute. So overall, definitely not a bad box. Because all right, all right let's go ahead and we'll. You know, I'll tell you, we're gonna we gotta go ahead and sleeve up baby Godzilla. So what we did hit is we hit, let's see, <laughs> we hit two of the same triomes, two showcase, two regular, two lures of the dream den, the Ozolith, you're in the sky nomad, and the fiend artesian. I guess I should put it in the camera. So yeah, not a bad haul for this box. Once again, sorry this one uh, took a little longer than expected with these stupid piles, or not stupid piles, but my uh, inability to sort correctly. Go packs, yay! Um, and yeah, just once again, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the comment, content, <laughs> leave a comment, like the video, please subscribe to the channel, and uh, this is Pax McCracken saying we'll see you next time. Thank you.